Hey folks, Mike Renato here with Athletic Motion Golf. Now let's take a look at the newest Masters Champion, right? Our latest tour winner. And he did everything he needed to do, uh, Danny Willett did, on Sunday to kind of make it through the wreckage on that back nine. There were a lot of guys backing up. And he did everything. He made, uh, I think, five of his 13 birdies for the week on Sunday. And in no small part, thanks to his ball striking, which was tremendous. So let's take a look at his driver swing. And we're going to use just one line here. We'll call it Azalea Pink <laughs> to demonstrate what he does really well that we really like in his swing. So if you notice, he has the look of leaning to the left. And I've heard some people already comment that he's kind of a left leaner. Well, let's take a look and just see exactly what he does with his swing. So he, he certainly looks like he's favoring that left side. Uh, what he's actually doing is what most really good ball strikers do is they push off of that left side in order to move to the right. So watch him push off to that off of his left foot into pressuring that right side. He is no longer leaning left at all. He's got a lot of pressure, a lot of movement into that rear side. Now here's the really cool thing that most amateurs can get that first part. They can shift to the right. This is the part that they often forget. Watch how early, so really before the club starts down, watch how early he starts to shift back to the left. So our benchmark here for this move is kind of this lead arm parallel. He is already back on his front side and that's massively important for the, not only the quality of your iron shots, but the distance and accuracy of your driver shots. And uh, nobody demonstrated that better on Sunday of the Masters than Danny Willett. So he starts seemingly on his front side, but we just got the first frame here of takeaway. We don't really know if, if he sets up that way, then moves, then moves back to the right side, which what most players do. But regardless, he's shifting hard to the right, and now he's got a springboard to really push himself towards the front very, very early in the downswing. And he really starts that push somewhere in here. So he's moving forward as the club is moving back, as the club head is moving back towards the target. And that's really the coolest thing that you can see. So he's to the right when the club is farthest away from the target. And as the club starts to get back closest to the target, he starts shifting his pressure back to the target as well. And that's the easiest way to remember how to sync all of this up. And then from there, he just turns and burns. And you also notice how vertical he keeps his uh, torso, his upper body over the ball until very late in the downswing. We see way too many golfers, way too many amateur golfers really start the downswing by tilting hard to their backside. And that undoes all of that good pressure movement that you did leading up to that point. So if we're going to learn anything from Danny Willett, one is a heck of a player on Sunday when it counted. Two is watch the push from the right foot, excuse me, from the left foot to the right foot, and then the push from the right foot back to the left side, and then smash it. And that's not steering the driver. That's really taking advantage of athleticism. And that's going to give you your best chance to hit the ball long and in the fairway. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you on the next winner.